I really welcome Mr. Mesri, our member of the parliament, who gave this honor to us to accompany to this visit, as well as Mr. Mahjoub, the other member of the parliament, who gave this honor to accompany us in this uh, visit to Hyderabad and we hope in Bangalore as well. Ladies and gentlemen, honorable guests, dear colleagues and friends. At the beginning, let me express my delight for being with you in this August gathering. At the same time, I would like to appreciate the efforts of the President of uh, Commerce, Honorable President and his colleagues for organizing this well-prepared meeting for the distinguished members of this federation. For many countries, Hyderabad has been one of the pillars and front runner of cultural and trade relations with Iran. High number of Iranian students in this state as well as the cultural and trade exchanges between this state and the Islamic Republic of Iran in recent years is a clear proof of such close relations and we are pleased that FAPCCI has played significant role in promoting such relations. Most of these visits have resulted in signing MOUs and fruitful contacts between FAPCCI and the Iranian side, including Iran, Tehran, and Mashhad Chamber of Commerce and Industry, as well as commercial organizations of Khorasan province. We are assured that this exchange of visits will contribute the business community in both Iran and India to better know each other's potentials and this would certainly lead to deepening our mutual, mutual relations. With the fresh political circumstances and the new positive approach towards Iran resulting from recent presidential election in the country and the landslide victory of Mr. Rouhani as the as the new president in Iran, the new government of Iran is presenting a new approach in its foreign relations as well as its economic ties with other countries. The manpower is the best asset for any country. We have invested for more than 35 years and now we are benefiting of that. So these are a very good asset for Iran and India for investment, for prolonging their economic relations. As far as I know, one of the capabilities of Andhra Pradesh and Hyderabad is IT business. As I said, we have got very educated people in Iran. Why shouldn't we go for some sort of joint ventures and corporations and IT business? that can guarantee our long-term business between two countries. So, I'm here just to encourage you, to invite you for more, doing more business with Iran, not just relying on the cash in, 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 in Yugo Bank, but of course, we can rely on credit lines, which nowadays the Indians are offering and we are trying to see how serious they are, we definitely will guarantee our long-term business between two countries. We are interested in investing in Iran, in, in India, 
whether in the oil or energy business, petrochemicals, fertilizers, we are interested and, and we have got some offers and we are trying to uh, really encourage the business community in Iran to come here for investing here. So we hope this, this, the same thing happens in the Indian side, especially this uh, very familiar state to the Iranians. Hyderabad is a very well-known city for the Iranians. We have got more than maybe 4,000 students in Hyderabad as well as uh, Bangalore, maybe more or less. I don't know the exact number now. But definitely these uh, scholars who are studying in your city, as well as in your state, these people can be the best asset as a bridge between two countries. So we have got a lot of investments for our future. The future definitely is very flourishing between Iran and India, according to a very good political approach between two governments, according to very good historical ties between two nations, and we had just had always positive approach to uh, Indians from the Indian side as well as the from Iranian side. I wish you all the best. I'm here if it was another opportunity for, to, for me to answer if there was any questions. We are here to learn about the difficulties and obstacles. <laughs>